Welcome back to the UGF Pandas. There's no jumping around it. We are 0-3 on the season, but we knew kind of going into that that we were going to lose the first three games. This episode should be completely different. We finally have a team that is on our level, and it should be a lot more competitive. One of these teams is going to walk away with their first victory on the season. Kirk thinks it's going to be the UGF Pandas. Our turnover differential is negative 8. 125 in the country. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's only 128 in this entire game. Another change that I'm going to make, and it was pretty highly requested from everybody in the comments, we're going to start the thick boy Howard Cook, or the obese beast, as I like to call him. We're still going to use Will Horton on, like, option plays because he's definitely very valuable to us with that 79 speed. Some people want him at running back. You know, I'm not against that. I decided I'm also going to start Ryan Dingle, BJ Hill, has done absolutely nothing all season. Another request from the comments, we're putting Negan Stance in the kickoff return. He's killed it in terms of like the drag routes and stuff. He has the most touchdowns on the team. Nah, doo-doo. We're dropping on James Dixon's board. He's the guy that I wanted to go for in this series. We might have to sway away from it because we're down by 1,300 points. We are in the lead for Jeff Warren, though, who is also an intense prospect that I really, really want. I forgot how this works, but it looks like if you're the first visit, you get 100 points, and if you're like the fifth, you get plus 500. So am I supposed to wait until four other teams go up there? I don't really know the strategy. Wait, never mind. It tells me right here. Try to schedule as late as possible. I guess that makes sense. With Sam Ramirez, though, we're going to take a gamble, and we're going to throw... Oh, I definitely don't want to put him against BYU. I don't think we'll win that game. What against our rivals, Georgia State? They're pretty trash. Week 11. I don't know if that's too early or not. Ah, whatever. I mentioned in the first episode that it's been a long time since I've played NCAA, and I don't really remember the strategies. A lot of people suggested focus on the pitch info when looking at prospects instead of like their interest level i think that's a good strategy like this guy the number seven athlete we haven't even put him on our board yet but he has a plus for playing time and for our team that is the biggest sell we can give somebody we ended up adding five guys from the spark 100 that we have good weekly bonuses on the only issue is we haven't scouted any of them so we got to find out what positions these guys even play he looks like he'd be either a wide receiver or a defensive back Officially scouted the rest of Tavares Walker. It says he's a 69 overall. Hoping he plays a lot better on the field. Finished scouting Kyle Stevens. He's officially a gym at 77 overall. I swear if we don't get this man. Dang national champions are trying to rob us from our dude. 68 acceleration at a wide receiver. No way. Get him out of here. Oh, this guy went up seven overall points. Well, just chuck all the points we got near him. Finally, we get an opponent on our own level. We're still worse than they are, but at least it's not shaking in the direction of them. I feel like the comments are going to roast me if I lose this game. But Wait, they have a 94 overall? Wait, oh, what? No, he's going to dominate my corners. I like how BJ Hale has more carries than he does yards on the season. That is an embarrassment. Still do not have a home game. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be no one in the crowd for this one. Both of these teams have not won a game all season long. What kind of stadium is this? They've got one section. The other side is just barren. It's empty. There's a parking lot right there. This is a high school stadium. Just like a... Oh, wait, never mind. They do have another side. Let's start this game off right, Francis. Marcus Green. He's a 94 overall, but he only got 59 yards receiving last game. That is weak sauce. In the backfield. Great tackle. He's going to try to run it. We got him in the backfield. Jakari McClellan picking up the sack. I know they're going to try to throw it deep. It's a screen pass. Somebody get him. Tyler Ruff shoving him out of bounds. That'll bring up fourth. Silence the crowd. That's not even there. There's like 12 people in the stands. Cook. I've got the running back right here with the catch to Dingle. That is a massive play to start this game. 26 yards. We sneak up on him with the option play with Howard Cook. They're never going to expect it. Let's go, Howard Cook. That's a first down in back-to-back -back plays. So far, Cook is cooking. Okay, I try to get rid of that one. X, he's cutting. First down again, three in a row. Do not want to risk throwing an interception, so we're going to give it to Hale again. Don't know why he's in the game. Dingle's supposed to be the one starting. Time to cheese him. We're going to go screen pass. You see how far they're pressed off the line? Come on, Dingle. Get to the outside. Spin move. Crap. At least we're going to score on this drive. Oh, we missed it. Off of the post. Damn it, Francis. Oh, it's an option play. Somebody hit stick him. Boy. We missed him. This is going to be a touchdown. No. Quarterback gone. Garrett Smith. 
Look at that spin move. That's why he's out there. Running back, Dingle. It's going to be third and short. They're really not prepared for the fullback run, are they? Here comes Tom Adamo. Boom! That'll move the chains. Again, the tight end, and he dropped this one. You forgot the ball, bud. Did you hear that guy? He said, get off the field. Are you kidding me? I didn't even know they had that in this game. Dingle. That's a big time run, nine yards. We don't get those too often. We're going to go with the pitch play to Dingle right here. Good blocks. This could be a touchdown. Get to the corner. Oh, no. It's going to be close. Pushed out at the one yard line. What a big time run for Dingle. We're going to actually give it to Hale over here. Run around the blitz. Touchdown, Pandas. We are not going to lose this game. Not going to let it happen. We got him. Coming in with a hot blitz. Bridges, Preston. Ah, I didn't get him behind the line. He's going to scramble for it. Powell. This guy is insanely fast. They got 95 rushing yards, and it's basically all him. This is all you, Ruff. Threw him to the ground. It's a pitch. We got him, Harry Bridges. And we injured him, too. Could not have asked for a better play from the defense. Guys open deep. McClellan. He missed the tackle, but boom! No, oh, they had the blocks. Touchdown. Warhawks again. Got him at the counter. Oh, the cut from Dingle. Triangle. Perez. He fumbled it. No. We finally do something right, and then it goes wrong. Why does this always happen to me? I missed it. Oh, I missed him again. Touchdown. The dang ULM Warhawks are faster than us at every position. Go Stance. Big time return. Is that a late hit? He was out of bounds. Where's the flag? Screen pass. Maybe that'll bring us back. Dingle's got bl good blocks so far. Nice. I just froze. That is so cheap. Cook had a heart attack. He's been eating too many Big Macs. We're bringing in Horton. He'll get us the first down off the read option. <laughs> Quiet down the crowd, Horton. That'll work. Get in there, Dingle. Fourth and inches. He's got it and more. Oh, crap. Dingle's injured. We ran him way too many times in a row. I see X. He hurled that the opposite way. We said X, the tight end. Not that guy over there. I wanted to test and see if Horton could actually make a throw, but that was hideous. That's it. We're blitzing nobody. I'm tired of this guy running around on me. Everything is covered up. Get him, guys. There's four of you in QB Spy. Finally, it worked. Boom! How is that guy going to hold on to that? We nuked him. This could be the last play of the game. I don't know why they're doing this. To the corner. Swat it down. He's in bounds. That is an absolute choke by the defense. We had no timeout, so we had to stay out there. But come on. Ah, oh, Stance. That was supposed to be you. Sorry I'm getting frustrated, but like 28-7 to against UL Monroe. I thought we were going to do better than this. That's mine, Tanner. Go, go, go. Whoa. Whoa, we got flipped. I accidentally pressed the catch button twice and dude got flipped. That's the guy's first incompletion of the game and it's an interception for Tanner. Way to hold on to it through that hit though. That is impressive. We got the running back. Get this one, Dingle. That's an interception. Are you serious? That guy was going to break on that. I really thought Dingle was going to have enough space to catch that one. Another high for me, crashing and burning in my face. We get the sack, though. That guy was well short. I have no idea why they even attempted that. Wow, we underthrew that like crazy. Forgot Howard Cook has no arm strength. Like, that was the right pass to make. The post was cutting deep. But it was so underthrown. Look at 81. He had to just stop and turn around. Another sack. School record sacks in a game with three. That's 200 experience points. I mean, we might lose this game, but that is a huge bonus for our team. I hope I haven't seemed too negative in this game. I'm still having a blast. Get out to the side, Tyson. 
that guy's breaking all the tackles. Quarterbacks in this game on Heisman difficulty are ridiculous. Get the sack. He fumbled it. Pick it up. Pick it up. No. Adjustments. Actually, let's go aggressive on everything. Screw it. Threw that immediately out of the back of the end zone. That's lightning reaction time. Whoa, how is he going to tackle me from, with his back? We'll give him a pass, though. This game's like five years old. That's an absolute booming hit. Got him. Third sack of the game for Jakari McClelland as well. The D-line wants the win. Nobody else does, apparently. Fourth sack of the game for Jakari McClelland. That is a new school record. Got Neek and Stance triple option. If this doesn't get you excited, you're not alive. But it's going to Ryan Dingle. We got blocks downfield, but we're just going to step out of bounds. Scramble opportunity for Horton. We got the block with the wide receiver. Touchdown, Will Horton. Whew. Oh, I was getting heated in this game. I needed that touchdown. I don't think we're going to win, but that it's bringing my confidence back up. That's a fumble. Scoop. I wish it was the NFL. He could stand back up, but that's a huge turnover. Tanner has both a forced fumble and an interception on this game. Still down by three scores, but I love the fight in this team right now. This pitch to Denman. He's not even that fast. If we would have got that block on the outside, that could have been huge. Denman again. Holy crap. How did we get sacked so fast? Good lord there, Blitzen. Perez is well short of the first, though. Boo. Everybody boo him. They're being rude. Where's the sportsmanship? Oh, Stance. What a play. The screen pass goes for 22 yards. We're struggling so hard. Our strong safety, Keenan Manning, is out as a wide receiver right now. Hurling this one as far as he can throw it. Perez, what a catch. Oh, he's back on his feet. That's cheap. That's not even legal. Giving this to Tom Adamo, fullback nation. He's in there. 21 to 38. You know what? Let's call it time. Let's go for two. This channel is all about having fun. Even if we're down by 18 points, we're going to go for two. Catch that. What the heck? <laughs> he just saw it soar by. He was like, nope. I'm not getting that. So we open up conference play with an L against the UL Monroe Warhawks. That guy got the player of the game, sack, force fumble, and an interception. I learned a lot about my team, though. Like, I realized Cook cannot really throw that far. His arm strength is very weak, and that we can run the ball a lot better than I expected. We were already losing by a lot, but I started to get it, the hang of defense by the end of it. We did get an upgrade for Tony Romo. That is huge. Broke a school record, that 200 experience point reward. Howard Cook, he had three interceptions. I'd say like one of those was because I made a bad read, but two of them were because of his terrible arm strength. Will Horton stepped in. He played pretty well, and considering his terrible inaccuracy, which got us one interception. Can't overlook that. But besides that, he was, he was pretty on target today. Very surprising. Rushing was excellent. Ryan Dingle had 94 rushing yards after 11 carries. Senior cornerback Victor Holmes had nine tackles leading the team. Jakari McClellan though, four sacks. Rayshon Tanner forced a fumble and he also had an interception. Keep in mind this guy is only a freshman. Garrett Smith, dude is insane. 17 of 19, 168, one touchdown, one interception. The rushing stats are ridiculous as well. 104 rushing yards and a touchdown. Wow, their, their best player, number three, he didn't even catch a pass all game. He's 94 overall. I guess we can say we held an elite wide receiver to nothing. Third down conversion is a huge one, but the turnovers, you, you're not going to win a game with five turnovers. I'm sorry. We know what we need to work on in next game. Woohoo! Both our offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator reached level two. That is huge. We got four guys ready to visit. Definitely going to be focusing on the recruiting side of things for Tony Romo. He's got the fastest scouting you can possibly do now. That goes a long way in terms of recruiting. We need more energy on defense. Like if we saw last game against those hurry up teams, we got burned. We're going to go with the up-tempo upgrade. It's the same problem as the defense. We just don't have enough energy. <laughs> this is the most savage response I've ever seen. Why did we lose to the Warhawks last week? Our players are looking for answers. Yeah, I'm sure my subscribers are looking for answers. This series is becoming a factory of sadness. We, we've already lost our first four games. I appreciate that, Kirk. You might be a little crazy. 
because they're 0 and 4 but i believe in us too anyways guys that's pretty much all i have for this video i want to say thank you so much for watching you're all legends in my book and as for me i am drew morris big old drewski not the expert and i'll see all you guys in my next video peace that was, that was solid nine yards run around the blitz run a, never mind that was oh my they're so much stronger than all of us came in great catch oh i tried to spin around him scramble for this one he broke one horton's got it